So welcome this week Wildcats to our weekly drinking fountain review. This is the one outside Lauscher's classroom in this hallway. Uh, the rest of the hallway, the surrounding area has been pretty well destroyed. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but the drinking fountain, honestly, the drinking fountain is pretty good. Uh, the water is a nice cold, cold degrees. It's very wet. Uh, mostly functions all three buttons, as you can see. Does have a uh, little brother over here. Little brother has performance issues. As you can see, not much is coming out of there. Well, thank you for joining me and Harrison on Water Fountain Review. We're not done yet, boy. Located in outside this room, we have this drinking fountain. Looks flash design. Nice little walls on either side, little perfect doors, keeping the people from seeing you drink water. Uh, some obvious flaws are the not lackluster spurts of water. Though it does have a functional water bottle fill station. How cold is it here? Pretty cold. That's gonna give it a five and a half out of ten. It's like ice cold. Six out of ten. You heard it here first, folks. Six out of ten for the station. My hand is frostbite. That's nice. Although we'll deduct another half a point for propaganda. <sighs> to face it. Located right outside this room is the magnum opus of water fountains at this school. Not only do both of them work, not oh. Water fountain number 17, located outside of Simon's gym. Right here. How's the water, Harry? It's chunky and cold. Chunky and cold. And it's chunky, good quality for water. Minerals. No. All right. And how is the water temperature? Nice it's and cold. cold. It's nice and cold. Water fountain number 12 on our list. Quite possibly the best fountain here. All the little stations work. Water's nice and cold. Yeah. Cold enough to make Harry uncomfortable. And how's the taste? Nice and cold. It's water. Alright. Woods Cross Water Fountain reviewers coming at you again with another episode. Here we have a bonus feature. The last water fountain recently installed. Water's not been hooked up to it yet, so nothing much there. Gonna have to get a little score for that. Does have what hopes to be a functioning water bottle filler. Nice picture of a duck, in case you can see from the dark hallway. Maybe another couple points off. Only light being a skylight over there, about 10 feet away. And how's the water quality? Non-existent. Two out of ten. Okay, welcome again to Water Fountain Review. This is the one on the side of Snailson's. It works. It's not very big. The three buttons all work. A little lackluster in appearance. I'll give it a six out of ten. Pretty cool. Oh, wait, how cool is it? It's actually pretty cold. The water's nice and wet. Alright, so this water fountain's outside the choir classroom, as you can tell. Lots of noise coming from in there. The water fountain itself is pretty clean. Looks actually pretty nice. Although it is by, unfortunately, located by trash can. Functionality's pretty okay. Gets nice water, all the buttons work. It's pretty decent altogether. I rate 7 out of 10 does not have optional milk mode though, so. I get water on the wind. Station number 24 out here in this very closer oh. hallway. Class teachers are looking at me sad when I put the cameras in their window. But all the fountains work. They're all very warm. They all work, they're all warm though. Yeah, they're all warm. That is quite unfortunate. Even this one's warm. This one's Although, even with water, even with warm water, that's gonna get a seven out of 10. That's about it. Number seven oh, on wait, the list, what? located in this new area of the school, by the, my favorite drinking fountain, that one. We have a fountain that comes with an op optional feature, the water bottle filler. Also very effective at waste water. 
Okay, stop it. We don't need to murder these It's things. so cold. Water very cold. Some of these. A lot of decent, decent size. Oh, not much coming from here. That's gonna. And this water's really warm point. too. Found itself doesn't seem very stable either. Other than that, it's quite thing. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. This one's the pretty solid. Added feature is very nice. All the students have water bottles. All right. Number six on our list of drinking fountains is this one, located in this hallway. Look at how dirty it is. It's very dirty. Water does not come out of it. None of the buttons work. It's all broken down here. Oh, the obvious disrepair. I died at more than 2k for this. Uh, despite all these things, it still is a fountain. And I mean, of course there's no water, but it's still a drinking fountain. Two out of ten. Finally, the last one I lit in this darkly lit hallway. Danger, danger, danger. In Windows Classroom, watch out. We have the one we call the rooms. Wonder why we call it rooms? So let's have to guess. All the buttons work, it's quite functional, although quite a convenient location. And how's the water quality? It's wet. Water is wet. You heard it here, folks. Water is wet. And what are the results from the gargle test? Pretty good. Pretty good? All in all, we give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Minusing a few points, though, from the dark hallway. And the location. And the location by the math classrooms, which we all hate. Rounding up our list of unworkable water fountains is number 2012. I know that was so funny. Oh, can you bring that? The apocalypse is coming. We're out of water. Okay. Uh, Goodbye now. The world is coming to an end. The water is gone.